Hello and thanks for joining us. Law enforcement agencies are concerned new cell phone encryption is too tough to crack. They say it creates a barrier to law enforcement, but privacy advocates say increased cell phone security is a good thing. Reporter Shannon Slatton explains. Think for a minute about all of the information you have stored on your cell phone. You might have family photos, emails, even access to your bank account. We store so much information on cell phones today, and that data could be used as evidence to solve a crime. Cell phones are treasure chests full of evidence. Mark Lanterman is a computer forensics expert. He says law enforcement agencies used to be able to get a warrant, then send an iPhone that's been locked to Apple, which could then unlock it for forensic analysis. Essentially what Apple has done is they've thrown away their key. They've, they've removed the back door that allows even Apple into your private data. Which is a move that has been praised by privacy advocates, but criticized by law enforcement. It's going to have a major impact. Including and Hennepin County Attorney is, Mike Freeman. Well, right now is we can't go to Apple or Google and try to get this information, even with a valid search warrant, because the encryption they put in makes it only available for the person with their password. Freeman has voiced his concern alongside agencies, including the FBI, saying there needs to be a back door into this information. The problem now is you get a search warrant, you still can't get in because it's encrypted. And Google and Apple said, well, we don't know how to do it, it's only the password. So that needs to be changed. But how do you change privacy settings to satisfy law enforcement, but still protect the consumer? If the government is complaining uh, about not being able to access this type of information, that may be a good thing for us as consumers and citizens because it means that um, the hackers can't do it either. So what's the answer? It's a question that's often been debated in a post 9-11 world. How do you balance security with convenience and privacy? The answer may come from Congress or it may be more education into finding that back door to information when you need it and have a search warrant to get it. It does come down to education, know-how, uh, experience and talent um, to continue to process these devices. But Apple, it, it certainly, the, Apple's approach to encryption is not making that easy. Shannon Slatton, 12 News. Apple has responded to these questions by saying there's no way to make the information available to the government without it being vulnerable to others.